I moved to China. That is a phrase you never thought you'd hear from me, right? <laughs> This was an insane decision and it took me such a long time, but here I am in China. It's this wall is the most beautiful one from my apartment. So you're welcome. Um, <laughs> but for now, I am a kindergarten teacher. Yay! Uh, basically, I teach English to kindergarten students in China, obviously. And today was my second day um, and Yesterday was my first. By second, I mean the second day of being here because I still haven't started teaching. <laughs> I'm still very much in the training period, just getting the hang of things, getting all the things done. <laughs> um, so let me start from the beginning. I will add clips as I talk to make this more entertaining, but here we go. So the trip was so long, like so long. <laughs> um, I live in Timisoara used to, um, but my dad had to drive us uh, to Budapest because that's where I was taking my plane from and that took like three hours and then we had to wait a bit because we got there early um, and then I had a plane from Budapest to Shanghai and then from Shanghai to Shenyang which is the city I teach in and the whole flight took like 17 hours and a bit which is a lot um, and by that I mean like 10 to 11 hours, maybe like 12 for the first flight. And then I had like three hours in between, three or four because my plane was delayed, like the second one, but that's, that's okay. Um, and then the second plane took like two hours and 20 minutes. So I was exhausted. I left home at 5.20 a.m. Um, on the 8th of September and I arrived in China at 11 and a half um, a.m. China time. So my internal rhythm was all messed up, all messed up. Yesterday, I stayed awake for like way more than 30 hours, like 100% way more. I couldn't sleep on any of the planes, but the first plane gave us um, food, so I got uh, lunch and dinner. Lunch was uh, beef and chicken was, uh, was for dinner. Uh, I say it like they give you an option between beef and chicken and I chose beef on the first time and good thing I did because on the second time they only had, by the time they reached my seats, they only had chicken. So I was perfectly fine with that. That was my plan all along. But too bad for the people who had chicken first time. But anyway, so on the first day, the kindergarten principal and an agent came to pick me up from the airport and they got me flowers, wait. And they welcomed me with these flowers and look how cute, they're a bit wilted right now because it did pass some time and oh, they're so pretty, look at that, so cute. And I just, that's so kind of them. And then from the airport, we went to a place to eat uh, delicious, everything was so good, um, <laughs> love Chinese food, and after that we went to um, like a phone company to get my phone like SIM card so I can actually have internet in China uh, because Europe or at least some companies in Europe just don't sell you internet in China, like there's no way, and I needed a Chinese phone number anyway, so it's a great thing that um, I went and that I went with someone because it's just so complicated when you're a foreigner to open anything. You need so many checks and if I didn't speak the language, like no one speaks English. So if I wasn't there with the um, agent and the director, I wouldn't have been able to, like the principal, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. So I got that done and after that we went and I exchanged some money. Um, and then I went back to the kindergarten, well back, I went to the kindergarten to just look around and say hi to everyone and um, and after that it was like five something and I came back to the apartment alone um, and then I tried to venture out in the great unknown and guess what, nobody takes cash, like <laughs> nobody takes cash, you have the money but you can't use it because nobody takes it. What? 
Um, it's like everyone wants um, either card or phone, and but when I mean either, I mean mostly phone because Chinese people pay with everything with their phone. I tried to pay with my card, but maybe it was like a foreigner card. They didn't want it, and some apps didn't even work with it. So um, yeah, uh, but I did only have cash, so um, I had to go back and forth to some places. But I did manage to buy some things. I still haven't been to a supermarket, but there is um, there was a like a convenience store nearby. It mostly sells snacks and things like that. But I bought. Um, uh, a pack of ramyun, like shin ramyun, um, Korean, I know, but it doesn't matter. And I also got the spicy one by mistake. I feel like all of them are spicy, but I cannot tolerate spice. I have the spice level of a child. Um, but after that, I went to a store that sells all kinds of things, like miscellaneous, and I got some cleaning supplies, uh, I got a cup, and I got like... And I got this thing, can you see it? I don't know what it's called. Uh, and I made my ramen in here and, well, my instant noodles. I say ramen like it's so posh, it's instant noodles. I made my instant noodles in here and I bought this one because I can make a ton of things in this. If I bought like a regular pan or um, anything else, it would be more restrictive, I think. Um, but also for the aesthetic, because let's be honest. <laughs> um, and then I went to sleep and, well, I took a shower, I did all that, but then I went to sleep and the second day, this day came and I was late for my first day. <laughs> so embarrassing, like so embarrassing, but uh, I was supposed to be there at eight and I put three alarms. I slept through every single one of them. I think I was very jet lagged and I was extremely exhausted. Plus my body is not used to this timeline yet like there's like a five hour difference between where i'm now and where i used to live and my body feels it like it does so um i was a bit like 20 minutes late because the principal called me at like 805 to like are you okay and i was like yeah, yeah i'll be right there i'm so sorry um so i got there at like 820 because this apartment is like five minutes i want to say less than five minutes uh from the kindergarten so it's really really fast thank god for that i don't have to take any buses no time spent on commute i'm like thank you <laughs> because i cannot deal with an hour just to go to a place plus i don't know the language and i'm sure the buses don't take cash either so um so i got there and um so there was a co-worker i can say now um um they're all chinese and they're all kindergarten teachers they're all female and very young which surprised me but um it's nice you know um i hope we'll get along uh, but we went to like one of them that knew english a little bit more because nobody speaks english again the principal doesn't speak one word of english uh but we went to like the person that knows a little bit of english showed me around the kindergarten a bit which was really nice. The kindergarten is so beautiful. The kids are so cute. But they're so tiny as well. <laughs> so tiny. And then we went to the bank with the principal and that girl. Um, so I could open a credit card. Um, well, a debit card. So I did that. It took so much time. Again, nobody in the bank speaks English. So they spent a lot of time just translating things and also, I'm a foreigner, so it's a bit more difficult to open a bank account. And again, so grateful for everyone who came to with me to help me open that bank account and to the people at the bank because they keep looking um, back and forth on how they can do it and things like It's so nice. Um, and then I opened it. I put some cash uh, that I had with me that I've changed the previous day because I didn't take all of them. I didn't know I was going to the bank today. Um, I did that and then... Um, I put them in the cart and then we went back to the kindergarten. We had lunch. Apparently lunch, this is a picture, lunch is provided by the kindergarten and there was like fish, there was some chicken, there was uh, rice, cabbage, um, and there were some other things as well. Uh, today was the first day I got there and um, someone put them for me, um, like someone filled it for me. Usually you do it alone, but um, this time they did it for me. Um, and it was so good and I'm like 
yes, I get free lunch. I'm so excited. Apparently, you also get free breakfast, but you have to come at like seven to eat it, I think. Um, but I might as well. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, I'm coming regularly, like at 7.30. But anyway, um, and today was also teacher appreciation day, which I landed perfectly here. And they were so nice. And look what they gave me. They gave me this box. Do you see that? Which contains, I didn't know what this had in it, uh, but I got home. Also, I broke this thing uh, when I was walking because it's so heavy. And look at this. Can you see that? It's like really, really fancy grapes. <laughs> I've never seen grapes look so fancy. But look at this. How can you not love it? Um, and they also gave me this little bag and in here there are a bunch of moon cakes. I've never had a moon cake. I don't think I have. Um, but they're so cute. Apparently they're filled with nuts. Um, and there's a lot of them. Can you see that? Um, cause also starting this week from Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, it's the moon festival in China. Um, so I guess it's day off, but I'm so excited to actually see how the moon festival will be. I don't know if I'll do anything or see anything, but I'm still excited. Um, and yeah, this is the second day. We also came back to the apartment at some point because uh, one of the internet people was coming. Uh, and now I have Wi-Fi in the apartment as well, which yay! That's why I can film this and I'll also be able to edit them and post them. Um, I think I'll... I don't know what my schedule will be like <laughs> now that this chaos is happening, but I'm just so glad to start a new adventure and maybe next time I'll do like an apartment tour, but I still don't know how to do it because my apartment is like full of windows, which is so, so beautiful. Like it's the most beautiful apartment ever, but I also don't know if I want to show you my view because, you know, stranger danger and all that. But again, nobody in China should have YouTube. <laughs> So I, I, we'll see, we'll see. But this is it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. I might not be able to answer them all, but I will try my best and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Look at the grapes I received from the kindergarten. They are insane. They're huge. Hand for comparison. Like, do you see this? This is my entire hand. And this is the size of the grape. They're so, so pretty. So I'm going to have a grape or like half of it um, and have a moon cake and tell you how it is. Okay, I'm in the second room. <laughs> You'll see more of it later in the next video, but here are the grapes. I cleaned one of them. Um, it did have some um, little grapes that didn't look that great, but I just cleaned them up and now let's try it on. Oh my God, this is so heavy and I don't know how to hold it. Okay, like this. <laughs> okay, this is a grape. Mm. Very sweet. The shell breaks really easily apart. The shell, the skin uh, breaks really easily apart and then it's very, very sweet. It's like eating candy almost, but it's so good. Very good. Definitely <laughs> premium grapes, even though one of them wasn't the best, but so good. Mm -hmm. Let's try the Happy Meat Autumn Festival, the moon cake. Let's see. I want to cut it in half and then I'll try it out. This is what it looks like. It opened so nicely, this packaging, so that I, I can just put it back in if I want to save it for later. But it does have some writing on it. I'm not sure what it is. Pretty sure this is like 100. But other than that, I don't know what these two characters are. Um, but let's see what's inside. So it is filled with all kinds of nuts. Can you see that? Please focus. Okay, it kind of focused. I try to use this to hold, uh, to keep the camera, by the way, that's why it's there. Um, but it is just nuts and let's try, see how it is. 
Okay, let's see how it is. Hmm. Good. <laughs> I wanted to take a smaller bite, but this thing is so thick that I just couldn't. <laughs> um, it's really nice. Um, the outside bread, I don't know what it is, cake, bread, um, on the outside is quite dry and crumbly, but it's very good. And the nuts inside um, are are not too overpowering. It's a really nice mix. Um, they're like big chunks of nuts, so it is a bit of crunchiness as well. And um, the cream, I don't know what this paste is made out of, but I assume they're more crushed nuts and maybe some, I don't know, sugar, something like that. But it is delicious. I am very picky, but I love this. So I loved it. <laughs> I genuinely loved it. Mm. So with this, this is the actual end of the video. Bye bye. <laughs> I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls